the first day of the Shelf Love Crate Readathon. I personally have never actually done a readathon before, so I thought this would be a very fun one to do because it is actually their first uh, annual, first anniversary readathon. Um, Shelf Love Crate is a box that I have been getting for a couple months now. They are an awesome company. I absolutely love the books and the things that we've been getting in these boxes. And so they decided to do a 12 challenge readathon, one for every month that they've had boxes come out. I don't have the list in front of me right now, so we'll do that in a little bit. But I just got home from work. I'm currently in the middle slash beginning of a book already. I have to finish that one first. It's the very last book in a series and I am absolutely loving the series right now so I just need to actually finish reading it. But it does fill out a prompt for the challenge so I might end up using it that way. I'm not entirely too sure yet but my husband's gonna be home soon and we're gonna have dinner and then I'll be reading more so I will update you guys in a little bit. May 22nd and it's the first day of the Shelf Love Crate Readathon. So I have the challenges here. I will put a little clip up here so you guys can see it. But they do have 12 different challenges that are related to the crates that they put out each month for this year since this is falling on their anniversary. Um, the first one is Witches and Matchmakers uh, to read a book with paranormals. Number two is Stormy Weather Ahead to read a book involving nature. Number three, Shakespeare Mystery Town, a book with a mystery. Number four, Wild Heart, a book about family. Number five, Space Explorers, a book set in space. Number six, Enchanted Journeys, a book featuring travel. Number seven, Fight the Power, a book with rebels. Number eight, Timeless, a book involving time. Number nine, Royal Pains, a book with royalty. Number 10, Hide and Seek, a character on the run. Number 11, Fiery Redheads, a book with a redhead. And number 12, Magical Manipulators, a character with hidden abilities. So I am pretty sure I have enough books that I could read one for every single prompt. However, this is going to be a very busy week for me this week. And so I doubt I'm really going to be able to finish 12 whole books this week. I'm working almost every day this week and then this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we're having the Phoenix Comic Fest and so I will be pretty much out of the house the whole time. And then I do believe the readathon is through the 29th, which would be next Tuesday. So we do have like a full eight days, I think. So like a week to do the readathon. Uh, I'm going to try and get as much done as I can, especially since this is the first one that I have even attempted. I'm currently reading The Dire King by William Ritter. This is the fourth and I'm pretty sure the final book in the Jacoby series. I've really been liking this so far. I will talk about it more in my wrap up for this month, but I'm currently like on a page, I think 153, and I only was on, I was less than 100 pages in when I got to today because I just started this uh, a day or so ago. So I am hoping to finish this probably tonight, um, hopefully before I go to bed, and then we will see about starting a new book tomorrow. So it is day two of the readathon, and I am actually gonna be going off to work very, very shortly, but I wanted to let you guys know I did finish this last night. I think I would give it a four out of five stars. I'm still mulling over my decisions for that. Um, just because it is a little bit different than the rest of the books in the series. Um, I will get into that more in my wrap-up. However, I am just trying to get myself together, my lunch together, and then maybe pick out a book to take to work with me. Um, so I will see you guys probably after work. So I came home from work and decided to film a Shelf Love Crate unboxing, which is obviously Shelf Love Crate Readathon. It is their Written in the Stars box. I actually should have that up on my channel already, so I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. But I am actually not going to be reading yet until we have dinner. And as you can see, honey cooking. But so 
so until that is done, I will probably not be reading. However, I did bring a book with me to work this morning. Uh, I got a few pages in, but I am currently reading uh, Ill Wind by Rachel Kane. This is in the Weather Warden series. It'll check off the challenge to have weather in a book. Um, this is a series I've been meaning to read for a while now, and so I so far like it. I've only, actually only 10 pages in, but I really like her writing style. I've liked another series of hers as well. It's this Revivalist series. Um, so actually, this one is only a trilogy, which I was sort of sad about at the, after it was done, but it has Working Stiff, Two Weeks Notice, and Terminated. This is about a girl who um, I think works at the mortuary or ends up there and somehow gets turned into a zombie. And so they have to like figure that out and there's people after her and I don't know. It was a great ride. I ended up reading this on a vacation a few years ago um, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I will probably have to reread this shortly, but I am enjoying the Weather Warden series so far even though I'm only 10 pages in. I am planning on reading more that tonight. I am off work tomorrow, so I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done. So I will see you guys after dinner. So I'm sitting here trying to read and I just wanted to let you guys know what I deal with every single night. This is the neediest cat ever and he likes to cuddle every single night. morning everyone and by morning I actually mean afternoon I have a day off from work today and I have been procrastinating um, well one I slept in this morning but also I have been doing errands and chores I still have to go to the grocery store which I don't really want to do but I'm going to um, so I haven't been reading yet um, Mostly because the book I'm currently reading is um, the, I think it's Ill Wind. This one here. This one right here, Ill Wind by Rachel Kane. And it's good so far. I didn't read too much more last night before I went to bed. But the, my biggest issue with this right now is I only read one chapter. Um, and that chapter went to page 72. This book right here is over 300 pages long and I actually ended up checking on it last night because of the fact that chapter one was so long and it only has five chapters total in the whole book. Um, because of that, it's really hard for me to want to pick it up when I know I have other things I need to be doing. Like other books that have shorter chapters, like I think my favorite type of books are usually the YA ones where a chapter is around 15 pages at the most. I mean it can vary, but on average between like 10 to 15 pages. Because those are really, really easy to get in a chapter or two while I'm waiting for things to be done or while I'm like in between things. A chapter that's over 70 pages long is just a little bit much. Um, so I am planning on going to the grocery store now to get that over with because I'm in charge of dinner tonight. And then hopefully I will finish this book tonight because I should be able to finish this within the next couple hours or so. Um, but because of the way it is formatted, I really need to actually sit down and read it and not worry about the chapters just because it's gonna be much harder to have this book as one that I can put down in between different pieces, uh, especially since I'm going back to work tomorrow. Whatever book I take with me, I'm going to have to have it available to like read in small chunks on my breaks. Um, so I will get back with you guys once I get back from shopping. So it is just about nine o'clock on today. I don't even know what day it is because I didn't go to work. Thursday. Um, and I did just finish Ill Wind by Rachel Kane. I am not entirely sure what to think about this book. I am giving it four out of five stars, I'm pretty sure, but it is so different than anything else I have ever read, even her other books. Um, pretty much in this book here, we follow our main character of Joanne, who is a weather warden. She can control weather, and so a lot of the book did have dealings with um, air drafts and cold and warm 
air and changing the weather. Um, but something had happened at the beginning of the book that, or before the book started, where we don't exactly know what happened, but one of her colleagues has died and it looks like she is the perpetrator of the crime and she has some sort of mark upon her so she's trying to escape. We don't really learn about the events that led up to this until about halfway through the book and it was a crazy ride. Um, I, again, it's so different than anything I have ever read before. I do think I liked it. I obviously have more books in the series just because I am that person that obviously picked up multiple books at a time. I got this at a used book sale a couple years ago. Um, so I do think I'm going to be continuing with the series eventually. Probably not right now during the readathon, but I am very interested in this. Um, I don't know what the next book is going to be like because this was like a whole contained sort of book by itself, but it is part of a series. And so I think that was a very interesting one. I actually think I'm going to start reading Brightly Burning now. This is the book that just came in our Shelf Love crate um, for this month. Uh, and so this one is a science fiction retelling of Jane Eyre. I've never read Jane Eyre, but it sounds very, very interesting. It's set in space, there's an AI, there's lots of crazy plot-related things that are going on. So I think I'm going to start this one next, which should check off my challenge for reading a book set in space. Hey guys, so I am home from work now, and I was naughty. I have employee appreciation at work. And so we get an extra discount compared to what we normally get. Pippin, what are you doing? But so I decided to buy some books. I had been sort of ordering them and saving them behind the counter under my name for just under a week now. It hasn't been too long. Um, but because we have our employee appreciation, I bought books. I ended up getting the Young Avengers series, so I have Young Avengers Style Over Substance, uh, Alternative Culture, and Mic Drop at the Edge of Time and Space. I actually read those in order. Great, because I was not entirely sure um, of two and three. I knew which one was number one. I also picked up the second and third book in the, the Broken Destiny series by Janine Frost. Then we have The Sweetest Burn, as well as The Brightest Embers. Can you guys, just a second, see this right here? Kitty kitty, what are you doing? Mystery. He literally just like crawled in there. Mystery. buying stuff at Barnes & Noble. Actually, I also purchased, I also purchased some more It Pops because those have been coming out. Uh, the only one I'm currently missing now is going to be Richie, and I do have one on order for when it eventually comes back into Barnes & Noble. Um, but then, that's not even why I'm super naughty. I am also naughty because I'm in the middle of this readathon, obviously. And I purchased a video game. Uh, it came out today. This is Detroit Become Human. Uh, this is a role-playing type of game where you actually get to make decisions for your characters and it could have real-life consequences for them in the game. So your decisions matter. Uh, I also, I forgot, placed an order from Barnes & Noble to have something shipped to me that are self-published books. But so I'm very, very, very naughty. However, I am currently in the middle of Brightly Burning by Alexa Dawn. I'm currently on page 69. I think I'm just finishing a chapter in here. I brought it to work and read a little bit on my lunch. So far, I'm really liking it. Nothing completely crazy or, you know, driving the plot has really happened. Um, we're more, I believe, in the introduction of stuff. Um, Stella has just gone over to the Rochester spaceship, and I'm expecting some really good things to be happening soon. I really like her writing style, um, so I am going to hopefully not play too many video games because I do want to finish this book. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday are Comic-Con or Phoenix Comic Fest because they changed their name, so I am 
probably gonna bring a book with me there for the lines. Otherwise, I am gonna be doing that for most of the weekend. Uh, I am off on Monday for Memorial Day, so hopefully I can get more reading in then, but I will update you guys as I go. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this tonight with everything that's going on, but I will update you guys later. So we are home from the first day of Phoenix <laughs> Comic Con. Hi, Pippin. <laughs> Our dog is very happy to see us, uh, but I will be taking off my makeup soon and either reading, like I should be doing for the readathon, or <laughs> playing a little bit more of Detroit Become Human. We played a little bit last night, and it is really, really good so far. I did read a little bit of Brightly Burning while I was waiting for certain panels to start. However, uh, not as much as I would like to. I'm currently on chapter 15, which is on page 173. I don't know Jane Eyre, but I'm really liking the story. I'm very excited to see what else is in store for this, because I feel like there's something big right around the corner. Um, I will update you guys later. Okay, so today is the second day of Comic-Con or Phoenix Comic Fest. I keep getting that mixed up because they changed the name this year. We are back from day two. Um, my dog, again, is very happy to see me. I am currently in the middle of Brightly Burning still for my Shelf Love Crate readathon. Um, I'm hoping to finish that hopefully tonight because I'm more than halfway done. Uh, and then tomorrow I am off for Memorial Day Monday off of work. However, I do have some friends coming over to have a game day, so we'll see exactly how much reading I get done. Um, today is Sunday, and I believe we have until Tuesday for the readathon. Yes, Tuesday for the readathon. So hopefully, I'm gonna, I'm planning on hopefully finishing this book and then maybe one more for the readathon. I think I've been doing pretty well so far. This is the third book I'm on, and even though I did start the first one before the readathon, I was only under 100 pages in, so maybe like 60, I wanna say, 60 or 70. So I feel like I've been doing pretty well. I'm, again, like I said, gonna try and do one more book, but I will update you guys later. I'm about to go take off my makeup and get comfy. So it is still the same night after Comic-Con, and I did finish Brightly Burning by Alexa Dawn. I think I'm gonna give this a three out of five stars. I'm still trying to figure out my feelings exactly. However, I do believe this is a Jane Eyre in space, as in, I've never read Jane Eyre personally, but it did feel like an older classical novel, but set in space. There wasn't anything new or exciting, I don't believe. The characters were okay, and I actually really did like the author's writing style. Um, it was just a lot of passive sort of things that were happening to this character's like in the main character Stella's life. Um, I will update you guys more on my feelings in my wrap up for the month. Um, and I'm gonna be finding a new book to read so I can hopefully finish at least one more book before the end of the readathon. Good morning everyone. It is Monday the 28th, which is Memorial Day so I get to stay home from work. Uh, I do have friends coming over later, but I did start reading this last night and did not update you guys because I was just way too tired. But this is a self-published book that I purchased during Phoenix Comic Fest. Uh, it is uh, Tanabata Wish by Sarah Fujimura. She is an American Caucasian author. However, she is married to a man from Japan and has biracial children. So this is a story about an American Caucasian girl who travels to Japan and ends up meeting a biracial Japanese guy while she's there. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like a young adult romance involving travel, which is one of the challenges. Um, not the romance part, just the travel part. Um, for the Shelf Love Crate Readathon, I am about 40 something pages in. 
like 46. Um, so far the writing is really, really good. Nothing has happened too much because it is a contemporary romance as far as I'm aware. And those sometimes, at least for me, seem to be a slow start. But I am really enjoying it, so I'm hoping to finish this by the end of tomorrow for the Shelf Love Crate Readathon. Um, this might be the last book I read, but I will update you guys as I keep reading it. So the guys just left from game day. It's about 9 o'clock at night, so I'm hoping to get some reading done tonight before I go to bed. Uh, the hubby is currently doing dishes in case you guys hear any background noise. But I did get a little bit of reading done on this before the guys came over. I'm actually currently on page 76, so I'm still liking it. It is very well written. I'm just not entirely sure where this is going to go, um, but I'm barely into it, really. I usually reserve at least 100 pages or so before I give um, a decision on whether to DNF something or not. But based on the first 76 pages, I will not be doing that. I will be continuing this book. I am hoping to finish it tomorrow, which is the last day of the Shelf Love Crate Readathon, um, so that hopefully I can get one more book crossed off. Um, I will also be filming videos tomorrow for my channel. Um, I will probably give you guys an update on this tomorrow morning or after I come home from work. Really just depends on how much I actually get done tonight. But I um, will be doing that now. Kitty kitty! It is about 10 p.m. on the 29th, which is the last day of the Shelf Love Crate Readathon, and I just finished my last book. I did not film anything today because I was working until like 5.30, got home after 6, um, and then we had dinner, so I didn't start reading again until probably like 8, 8.30, but I did finish this one. Uh, this, I want to say I'd probably give like three and a half to four stars. It was pretty good. Um, it is a contemporary romance, so nothing crazy happens in it. Um, and there were a couple things that I didn't like as much. Um, one was just the fact that the author put in a lot of Japanese words instead of English words. And some of it was okay because the girl, Skylar, our main character, is in Japan. But some of the words were not ones that the readers had been introduced to yet. And it was just sort of thrown in there. Um, and we weren't always told what the translation was when it was and if she was talking to somebody in Japanese or um, They were talking to her that was fine But when it was just like little things like the word for house um, She could have just said that instead of saying the Japanese word things like Yukata and stuff like that where it's obviously not there's not a translation for it in English I think was fine um, but I will give more thoughts on this when I go over my wrap-up for the month, which should be coming up soon. Um, but otherwise, yeah, so this is the fourth and final book that I'm going to read for the readathon. So let's do a quick Shelf Love Crate readathon wrap-up. I did read four books over the eight days that the readathon was happening. Um, the first book, The Dire King by William Ritter. I was in the middle of this one when I first started the readathon, but it was less than 100 pages in, so I'm going to be counting it in here. I think I'm giving it a 3.5 or 4 stars. I'm still on the fence about that. I'm going to count this one as the challenge for witches and matchmakers, which was to read a book with paranormals because of the fact that there are tons of paranormal creatures in here. There are, there's fae and werewolves and a troll that lives under a bridge. 
so I think this fits perfectly. The second book that I read for the Shelf Love Crate Readathon is Ill Wind by Rachel Kane. This is the first book in the Weather Warden series, and it is going to be fulfilling the challenge of stormy weather ahead, which is to read a book that involves nature. The whole premise of this world is that there are people, not everybody, but there are people that can control certain elements. There are people that can control the earth and fire and weather, which is like wind and water together. So this definitely has nature involved. There are different points within the story where the main character talks about manipulating air currents to change little pieces of the weather. Um, this book here, I do believe I'm giving four stars. And then I also read Brightly Burning by Alexa Dawn. This was a book that we got in our latest shelf love crate written in the stars. I read this for the challenge of Space Explorers, which is to read a book set in space. This one here is a retelling of Jane Eyre set in space. I think I'm gonna give this book three stars. And then finally, I read Tanabata Wish. This is by Sarah Fujimura. This I read for the Challenge of Enchanted Journeys, which is a book featuring travel, um, and it's about an American girl who is Caucasian going to Japan. So she travels there the summer before her senior year of high school with her family. Um, this one here I am going to probably be giving a 3.5 as well. So those are the four books that I read for the Shelf Love Crate Readathon. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave me a comment down below if you would be interested in doing something like this next year. And then subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up every Monday and Thursday, so I will see you then. Bye!